Central India, a land with a rich history dating back thousands of years, an amalgamation of cultures and beliefs, where every occasion is a festival, and every festival an occasion for people to come together. The pulsating heart of the nation, its mighty expanse, spanning from the deserts of the Thar in the west to the mighty Himalayas in the north, from the jungles of the Vindhyas to the vast irrigated expanse of the Indo-Gangetic plains, has been the font of deep, diverse and disruptive thinking. Here, mornings echo with the sounds of the temple bells and conch shells, as well as the call of the museum, coexisting in perfect harmony, where Lord Buddha and Mahavir laid the foundation to religions that taught people the value of every life form. The five states, UP, Bihar, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, and Chhattisgarh that comprise central India are bound by a common thread. Hindi, the national language, spoken by a staggering number of people. In fact, with a population that resides here, Central India would form the third largest country in the world. It is the crucible of some of the world's oldest universities, where philosophers debated over questions ranging from the mundane to the spiritual. In modern times, Central India has been home to some of the biggest leaders who were responsible for bringing the country independence and helming it for the last 67 years with close to 80% of the population living in rural geographies. Agriculture forms the source of livelihood for the majority. However, heavy dependence on the monsoon for irrigation means that the rain gods decide the economic well-being of the region. In spite of its rich legacy, central India has remained one of the most underdeveloped regions in the country. High illiteracy, low GDP, poor infrastructure, and a large population meant that the per capita consumption levels here were some of the lowest in the country. Low media reach led to low brand awareness and as a result, low category penetrations. This is reflected in our per capita sales in Central India being almost half the national average. As also, our corporate shares approximately 700 basis points lower than the All India numbers. However, the past few years have seen these states leading GDP growth in the country and there has been the improvement in infrastructure, literacy levels and awareness amongst the population. Consumers who sought only value for money are now becoming aspirational in their brand choices. This presents an unprecedented opportunity for us to drive market development, close the market share gap and lead growth for HUL. If winning in many Indias was our mantra to drive growth by focusing on geographic opportunities offered by different states, lifting Central India would be the engine leading that growth because at stake here is a massive opportunity worth 1 billion euros.